Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play Tomba, aka Tombi, for the Sony PlayStation 1. In the first episode, we started our journey, we got some objectives, we solved some objectives, and now we're gonna get and solve more objectives. As we do this, we will be going into this hut, which is the hut of the 100 year old man. I'm not going to save my game yet because I just saved my game in the last video and I want to talk to this guy right now. Hmm, what shall I do? Uh, hmm? Why, hello there. You're a cute little fella. Yes, I am the 100 year old wise man. What can I do for you? And we complete the 100 year old wise man objective. Got a thousand AP out of that. Hmm. Well, sorry. My mind is preoccupied with something else at the moment. Say, would you do me a favor? You see, there is something that is just really bothering me. You must have seen them on the way here. The red coca birds. Oh yes, those red coca birds that we have been beating up throughout the first video. Those darn birds steal eggs and try to raise them as their own. I feel sorry for the cute little chicks inside the eggs. Could you go out and collect all the chicks from the eggs? And we get 500 AP for getting the Inside the Coca Eggs objective, which we've already cleared. There are four eggs that you will see on your way to the 100 year old man's house. And we broke all of them in the fourth video the fourth video. We haven't even reached part four yet. We haven't even reached part three. The first video is what I meant to say. We've already got all the eggs broken. We've got all the chicks. You should have just as easily gotten that dealt with on the way there. Good job. You found all of them. But where are the chicks? We had them in our mouth. Have you heard of Pockets, Tomba? What? You kept them in your stomach? What else do you keep in there? <sighs> I... I have questions now. Questions that the game is not going to answer. Never mind, you don't need to show me. It's all right, really. Mm, thanks to you, I have one less thing to worry about now. Ah, yes, you wanted to see me about something, right? Mm -hmm. So the coma pig stole your grandpa's bracelets. Mm. So, you want to know all about the coma pigs, huh? Well, here's how the story goes. This was once a beautiful, peaceful land. Until seven evil pigs came, they suddenly appeared and used their powers to change this land into an ugly world. For some reason, the evil pigs seemed to be collecting gold. I bet your grandpa's bracelet that was stolen by the coma pigs was made out of gold, too. The seven evil pigs are hiding somewhere in this world. If you find them, I'm sure you'll be able to find your bracelet as well. Just remember, be very careful. Now that's all I know about the coma pigs. If you wish to retrieve your bracelet, you should make some friends. They'll be a great help to you. Of course, if there's anything I can do for you, just come back here. Hmm. I seem to have lost my 100-year-old bell. I was going to give it to you. If you find it, return it to me, would you? In place of the bell... I'll give you this, an ancient key. This old key is also 100 years old. Oh, time goes by so fast. And we now have the 100 year old key. This is the only key that will open the 100 year old chests. The 100 year old chests are the same as the one that the 100 year old man just opened to give you that key. It's the wooden chest with the gold frame. Ah, yes. You'll also need the evil pig bags in order to find the evil pigs. Without the evil pig bags, 
you won't be able to find their hiding places. Go ask the dwarf elder about the evil pig bags. You'll find them past the forest above here. He should be able to tell you everything you know, you need to know about the evil pig bags. Now run along, youngster. And we get the dwarf elder objective. And we can now climb this rope to go up to the top of the hut where we will be able to go to the dwarf village. However, I now have over 50,000 AP now, and I can open this chest too. This chest contains the charity wings. You'll be seeing these a couple of times throughout the game. The charity wings are a one-time use item that will allow you to teleport to a, another place that you've already been without you having to do all the foot your, footwork yourself. You can only use a charity wing one time. After that, they're gone from your inventory forever. Also, this AP required us to have 50,000 AP. This clears the AP box event that we got in the previous video. If we open either the box of the old pond or we go to this ring, which gives us two pieces of fruit, we'll be able to complete the objective. I will still go to the AP box in the future. For now, though. Hi. See, I told you so. Oh, the old coot was helpful. Me? People call me Yawn of the Hidden Village. Ah, so this is how you complete the Who Are You objective. I forgot to go down here during my practice run. And now we have another objective. Hide and go seek. We have another event. I like to hide from people. Usually they never find me. If you find me again, I'll give you more information. Don't expect it to be this easy next time. This is going to be a lot of fun. A good old game of hide and go seek. Well, good luck. See ya. And he goes in the bushes that I can't go into. And that is how I nearly died and somehow didn't. And how we get that objective. Speaking of objectives, events, missions, whatever you want to call them. I finally found out that me pushing the coca bird into the fruit that was here, into the binding plant flower to get the biting plant flower super early in the game. That was not in my notes at all. And so because of that, I was taken completely by surprise. Even Sonic T. Hedgehog, whose entire 100% playthrough of the game that I watched, even he never pulled that off. Are you kidding me? Am I going to have to stun this bird? Apparently I will. But I do want to go up here for the 100-year-old bell. Believe it or not, the 100-year-old bell can be used as an item. A special bell that takes you back to the 100-year-old man's hut. Let us go ahead and use this bell. We Thankfully... This bell will always take us to the 100-year-old man's hut. And we can use this in lieu of a charity wing in case we ever need to go back here. It may not be as straightforward as a charity wing, but at least it'll get us out of trouble super easily. Oh, you're injured. Let me take a look. And if you ever talk to the 100-year-old man while your health is at less than full, you will get a full HP replenishment, which is nice. We're going to need that. So anyway, we've now climbed up the rope. We've went up here. We can go here for no reason at all other than to see the pixelation that you get when Toma is on a slope surface. And from here, we can cross the rope bridge to go over to this guy. This guy just runs away. He speaks a weird language we don't know anything about. This gives us the Beginner's Dwarf Language event, which we do need to clear. And we are now in the Forest of 100 Flowers. I am going to go ahead and save my game here. 
Just so I can save all the progress that I made in the past 10 minutes so far. No, I do not want to override. I just did this. Now, I'm going to be messing about a little bit here. For something that I want to get done sooner rather than later. By sliding around these slopes, we can get leaf butterflies to pop up. You grab these just like you did the frog earlier. You uncover one. You jump on it. You jump a second time. You then press the jump button a third time so that way you can put it in your inventory. Leaf butterflies we will not be able to, to uh, complete for a little while. Though I am getting the steps for this prepared and just out of the way already. By just slipping and sliding around in the forest of 100 flowers, you will get leaf butterflies to pop up. They just pop up rather randomly, and once you see one, you need to catch it and get it in your inventory immediately. Hey! In case one gets out of your grasp, don't worry. Just keep slipping and sliding around. You're bound to find another one eventually. The most you can collect from this area, the force of 100 flowers, is 25. And I want to make sure that I get 25. You, the most you can get is 29, but the four that are outside of the forest of 100 flowers, we obviously haven't been to that location yet. But that's not going to stop me from, well, getting 25 leaf butterflies. I'm still going to go for them. And hey, definitely want those. Yeah, you can just keep slipping and sliding around in this one area. They just come up randomly. You can just stay near the start and they'll just all come to you here. Okay. Need to check. Okay, we've got 16. We get we need nine more. And if all, again, all we need to do, we just need to slide around here and we can get all of them. Okay. Hey. Also, while we're here, we might as well leap on the dwarf whenever we see him. When Tomba leaps on the dwarf, he bites him, and that's how we learn the dwarf language. We are now at dwarf language level 1, according to the message that appeared at the bottom of the screen. We need to get it to 2, then 3, and then max. And once we have it at max, we can talk to the dwarves without any trouble whatsoever. So, now that I've gotten that explained away, I'm going to keep jump keep moving around here, trying to get the leaf butterflies. Hey. Hey. Good thing I have the animal dash. It makes this easier. Animal Dash makes everything easier. Okay. I'm going to check my item. Oh, we are now at 25. Awesome. I don't have to do any of this anymore. Yeah, once you hit 25, Leaf Butterflies will no longer show up anywhere in the Forest of 100 Flowers. So, now that we've gotten that taken care of, all we have to do is just concentrate on jumping on the Dwarf, biting him, learning his language, and of course making it to the Dwarf Village. Also, let's jump on this. Glad we jumped on it. Now here we need to be careful. We do not want to jump on the tops of these things because it will hurt. Also, let's jump on this thing. Glad we jumped on this thing. Again, Animal Dash makes this easier. Let's jump on this guy a third time. We have Dwarf Language Level 3. Once we go to the right, we will be going to the Dwarf Village. And once we enter the Dwarf Village, we can't go back in the same way we came. However, I do want to save my progress just because... So let's go ahead and override our save file here. Then a good four minutes 
trying to learn the dwarf language and get the 25 leaf butterflies that I needed. And now that that's over with, we could talk to people here, but they will not be able to understand us. We will not be able to un... Well, he will. Wow, you learned some of our language. But I still can't quite understand everything you're saying. I think if you jump on a dwarf and bite one more, you'll master the language. How dwarves know that you can learn their language like this, I'll never know. Also, I should mention the controls for these overhead style perspective places that you'll be in when you're in towns and whatnot. You can move around in eight directions with the control pad, and you can also hold the square button to run. I don't know if you need to learn the animal dash to be able to run. I usually get the animal dash super early even in the demo, so it's a rather moot point. But let's go ahead and talk to another guy. Yeah, he won't be able to, able to understand this at all. So what we need to do is we need to go to the west. No, east. We need to go to the east. Jump on this guy who is just running around. We have now acquired the dwarf language. We've finished the beginner's dwarf language event. We've got 2,000 AP out of that. And now we can talk to everybody. Wow, you can understand the dwarf language? We have a problem and don't know what to do. The dwarf forest was cast under a spell by the evil pigs. The flowers have wilted away and the trees have mutated. Several dwarves have not returned from a recent hunting party. We suspect that they might have been trapped by the giant spores and can't move. The doors to the hut in the forest have been opened, but the deep forest is being guarded. The guards won't let anyone pass until the missing dwarves have been found. And we get a new event, Save the Dwarves. And now that we've talked to this guy and know what we need to do next, the guys that were blocking the entrance slash exit to the village, they will not be blocking our path anymore. So let's go ahead and talk to people with the square button, because we can still do that. Have you seen a child? A small child. We went to go look for flower seeds at the watchtower and hasn't come back. I'm really getting worried. What if something happened? And this gives us an objective, the lost child. You don't need to unlock the objectives in order to get them. As long as you do what's required to get the objectives finished, you'll get credit for them all the same. I mean, there are ways to find out about objectives, but you don't necessarily need to do these things to find out about the objectives or find out about the objectives, period, in order to do said objectives. And there's supposed to be somebody in a hut here. There isn't. Uh, what am I going to do without the... Oh, hello. I guess I didn't notice you walk up. If you excuse me, I'm trying to deal with the problem here. I hid something very special in the forest, but I'm afraid to go get it because of all those pigs. Oh, it's very important to me. I don't know what I'd do without it. The kid who lives in this hut has not returned home. And if you go in here, you'll meet the town doctor. Well, what a cute looking boy you are. But I'm afraid you don't look very happy. I'm a doctor, so if you ever hurt yourself, you come see me. I don't think she's able to heal you, though. My friend was caught by one of the spores on a tree and is just hanging there. I can't reach him. Please help him. Check out the spores that stretch when you hang from them. Have I talked to you yet? Help! Help! Some dwarves are missing! They opened the doors to the hut in the forest in the path of the watchtower to go look. So the hut in the forest that we passed by earlier is to the west. That's where we came here from. And the watchtower is inside that door that we passed by when we made it to the village. The path to the right leads to the elder's house, but everyone's really busy. Not a single dwarf has returned yet. Can we go into this hut? The dwarves are facing a big dilemma at the moment. My friends at the elder's house will be able to tell you more about it. Well, thankfully, we've already talked to them. This is a dwarf village. Some of the dwarves from the village are missing. Also, that is a very huge axe and tree. I don't know how any of you people are supposed to lift, lift that axe. Like, at all. And there's supposed to be a guy and his... 
kid here, but we haven't really done anything to get them to show back up yet. So, we've done a couple of things. We collected a bunch of leaf butterflies. We learned the dwarf language. And we now have to rescue some people in the forest before we can really do anything. And we're going to get some of that stuff done in the next video. I just need to remember the save. There we are. Join me next time where we trek further into the forest. We go to the watchtower area. We re explore the area we had just been through and we will need to go look for the missing dwarves until then this is prince watercress take care stay safe and thanks for watching